name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and I ask now for the grace to live a pure life. The blessings that come through having a pure conscience. I want to quote you from the writings of Saint Margaret Mary, who wrote about how important it is to have a good, a clear conscience and an illuminated conscience. She writes, the exercises of different spiritual devotions can fill those who practice them with many interior consolations. And although there are no good works that are not accompanied by the inexpressible pleasure and joy, which are inseparable from the testimony of a good conscience and which surpass all other pleasures. It is, however, certain that Jesus Christ has never conferred so many favors as in the practice of the devotion which honors him in the Blessed Sacrament. Here is where we honor the Sacred Heart alive. I've spoken already about this in the past days of Novena. But the point that I want to highlight now is what she said there, because it can be very easily missed, that there are no good works that are not accompanied by the inexpressible pleasure and joy which are inseparable from the testimony of a good conscience. Here we have underlined, pointed out to us, one of the big reasons today why so many do not experience joy. It is because the joy and the happiness, the peace, the contentment that are always uh, part of good works that accompany our good works are obstructed by sin. What is the conscience? We can define it as God's voice within us. And if we have done something wrong, if we are guilty of something, no matter how much we try to blot it out, the conscience will, or the voice, the interior voice of God within us will always gnaw away at us, letting us know that something needs to be put right. And this is what we pray for now that if there is anything in our lives that needs to be removed, that our conscience will be pure, illuminated, free from sin, good confession is the way to do it. Uh, by the way, while we're on this, when a person commits a mortal sin, Saying an act of contrition is not sufficient because we have to recall what happens if the sin is grave or mortal sin, we call it grave sin or mortal sin. The sanctifying grace is lost from the soul. Saying an act of contrition does not restore it because it required a sacrament the first day to have that 
sanctifying grace poured into our soul and that sacrament was baptism if that sanctifying grace or baptismal life we call it too is lost through grave sin by the way that means breaking one of the ten commandments the only way then that this sanctifying grace is restored to the soul is again through a sacrament and this, this sacrament is confession that's why we often refer to it as a second baptism this is where our conscience is purified and the fruits of a good confession a pure conscience is the joy and the, the peace what saint margaret mary wrote here the inexpressible pleasure and joy which are inseparable from the testimony of a good conscience so we ask for this great grace now today our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O sacred heart of Jesus, O my Jesus, you have said, truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I ask for this great grace. To learn from the examples of the saints. To be open to correction to learn from jesus above all who is our model our primary example that we have in scripture what he teaches us but we also have the saints to learn from um, saint margaret mary writes the lives of the saints are filled with examples which demonstrate this truth. She's referring to honoring the Sacred Heart in the Blessed Sacrament. And that, that is why all the saints were filled with joy, because it is inseparable from a pure conscience and the saints through their great devotion through the way they were always trying to improve themselves imitate jesus more and more learning from the example of mary and joseph that is why we take them as our examples and um, saint magra mary continues uh, the feast day for Christians is in the adorable sacrament of the Eucharist as there is no mystery in which he has received so many outrages that's Jesus there is no other mystery in which he fills with such sweet consolations those who do all in their power to make reparation for these outrages. As it is impossible to have this devotion at heart without having great love for Jesus, it would be difficult not to feel in its practice that sweetness and those interior consolations which are inseparable from the exercise of true love. 
Now, here is why it is important to read the lives of the saints, read the writings of the saints, meditate on them, ask their help, pray to the saints, ask their intercession. How did they get as close to the Sacred Heart as they did? How did they enter into union with the Sacred Heart? They teach us. We will not learn it from what the world praises and idolizes today. It's the saints we must look to. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace to be always assisted and led by the Holy Spirit to meditate deeply on the wounds of Jesus. The fruits of this are outlined by St. Margaret Mary, another great expert, another great saint that we have teaching us. How do we enter into the sanctuary of the Sacred Heart more and more? She says, uh, as the mere sight of the wounds of Jesus inspire us with great confidence in his mercy, the mere sight of his heart inspires us with sweetness and joy that can be distinctly felt. Then Margaret Mary is not just writing this, or she wasn't just saying that as a theory or an, an idea that she had in her mind. She's speaking from experience because a person who does not really experience this true joy and peace cannot write about it. So she's speaking from experience of the sweetness and the joy that can be distinctly felt from deep meditation on the five wounds of Jesus and the union of love with the Sacred Heart, which she said inspires the sweetness. How many people in the world today need this? So many people are bitter and become ever more embittered by the ways of the world and so many other things. So we all need Jesus in the Sacred Heart in this month of June is offering this in abundance. So we pray to be open to it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. 
Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. On the no most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, Pastor, Father of the Child Jesus, pray for us. Now we do our act of consecration to the Sacred Heart. I, John, give and consecrate to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, my person, my life, my actions, my penances and sufferings, that my whole being may be devoted to him. I desire to be entirely his and to do everything for his love, renouncing with my whole heart whatever might displease him. I then take you, O Sacred Heart, as the sole object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for all the faults of my life, and the secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be then, O heart of goodness, my justification before God the Father, and remove far away from me the punishment of his just wrath. O heart of love, I place my confidence in you. While I fear all things from my malice and frailty, I hope for all things from your mercy and generosity. Consume then in me whatever can displease or be opposed to you, and may your pure love be so deeply impressed upon my heart that it may be impossible that I should ever be separated from you or forget you. Amen. And we finish now with our litany. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy. Uh, God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of the divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and abounding in mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins, have mercy on us. 
heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offences, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of sinners, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, the light of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, Make our hearts like unto thine. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and on the praise and satisfaction that he offers you in the name of sinners. And for those who seek your mercy, be appeased. And grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, world without end. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Fighting the battles of life? Fear not, God can deliver you. Be assured that we 